simple act of driving a car every day to work is damaging our beautiful environment. It is time for this to end. All of us need to assume responsibility for this destruction. A simple, effective solution is to impose a tax on all fossil fuels and to use the revenue to support research and development of renewable energy sources. Because they are this world's main source of energy, fossil fuels are damaging the, the environment at an increasing rate and will soon disappear forever. Ecoinfo.net stated that oil will disappear in 41 years, gas, natural gas in 58 years, and coal in 114 years. Furthermore, the unnecessary overuse of fossil fuels is enormous, and the following facts portray how big of a problem this is. The U.S. alone emits over 6 billion tons of CO2 annually. Additionally, according to the University of Michigan, the U.S. also uses about 17 million barrels of oil every day. Now, mind you, there are 195 other countries participating in this reckless pollution. However, the pollution will last for a much, much longer time. Andrew Stroman, a Norwegian scientist, estimates that approximately 40% of CO2 will still exist in a thousand years. This means that we are not only harming the environment now, but we are affecting the future generations. And by then, it may be too late to save our ecosystem. If we preserve fossil fuels, we could delay their inevitable disappearance while reducing the amounts of pollution to this precious environment. Now, you may be wondering, how can we convince others to preserve fossil fuels when they are so much more convenient than renewable energy? By simply imposing a tax on fossil fuels, we could further the research and development of alternative fuel sources, while, which can help fix the damage we've already done and help prevent future damage. A fossil fuel tax can be used to improve how we produce fuels, subsidize things such as hybrids and electric cars, research and development of sustainable power, and it can make renewable fuels much more cost-effective to produce and to purchase. Although they aren't exactly tax-funded, some developments have already begun to take place. Stanford University has developed an eco-friendly ethanol production of copper-based catalysts. There is also a school, Riverdale Country School, in New York City that has installed energy tiles. The tiles convert kinetic energy into electricity through a mechanical system rather than piezoelectronic technology to power a phone charging station, says UTA.edu. Sure, all the tiles power is a small charging station. However, imagine if we used all the taxes to replace every single tile in New York City. That This would certainly increase the usage of renewable energy, however, but these taxes on fossil fuels decrease the usage of renewable energy. The answer is yes. A heavier price on fossil fuels will discourage wasteful use of such fuels. As a result, Conserving, conserving fuels and helping the environment. One of the main reasons people damage the defenseless environment is because fossil fuels are much more convenient than renewable energy. In essence, if a tax was imposed on fossil fuels, we could make eco-friendly resources just as available and cheaper as fossil fuels, and further the research and development of energy, renewable energy sources. Our current use of non-renewable resources is not only harming the world now, but is also murdering the future. Andrew Stroman, professor and scientist, predicts our CO2 emissions will be affecting over 30 generations to come. It is also affecting the wildlife and the crops, and so essentially we are starving the future. In conclusion, the emissions from our fossil fuels are damaging the environment and disappearing rapidly. But a tax on such fuels can reverse the damage we've already done and limit the damage to come, or else future generations will have to deal with a world without sustainable energy and with an injured environment. Without our action today, then all of us, along with our children, will be facing the consequences. So please, support the tax on fossil fuels. Nice, good job. Thank you. Sure. So, we energy, not really energy. You want to show the camera? No. Nice. Good afternoon, students. Sorry for the interruption. Staff, just a friendly reminder.